welcome to the first ever monthly costume review. <laughs> I'm going to be doing two costumes for this first ever episode. And, you know, because this is a grand opening, because basically I've done costume reviews in the past. And, you know, most of you, as well as myself, loved these, epi um, these costume reviews. And, well, I am bringing it back. Um, I've spent quite a bit of time um, thinking about it and, you know, how to plan it and all that such. So, yeah, welcome to the grand reopening of costume reviews. And this is how every costume review will go on every, every month now. Uh, but because I am posting this late in the month, um, yes, the next monthly costume review won't be t a too long of a wait. But, yeah, after that, it'll be like, you know the first at least the first week of every month you know i'll switch from like old to new old to new right because we're looking at two this kind of counts as new and old because one i've already shown it on camera and two you know you this one's a new one but i've never shown it on camera before i've never reviewed it and you know i've only worn it once but you know if you want to watch my old reviews just go to my channel homepage and go and click on the playlist tab there you will find the old costume review playlist with all the costumes I've reviewed in the past, which um, the scores might have, might, the scores I've given them might actually change, actually, um, in this new grand opening series. I think some of them may, you know, some of them I feel like, oh, maybe I should have been a bit more critical and gave it much more of a deep dive review, which... I didn't, and hence the grand opening will. Uh, and uh, yeah, if you don't want to watch the old costume reviews, maybe, maybe you want to take a look at my other playlist I got on my channel that you may want to watch. And anyways, as you've probably seen how long this video is probably going to be, um, which is, well, for the first ever grand opening, it will be long, but episodes will be a lot more shorter in the future but because i have to tell you everything you know i have to tell you hey this is what it's like <laughs> but if you don't want to watch a long review every monthly costume review will also come with this quickie which will be intro then me in the costume and just outro you know just just hey here's, here's a look of it on the person, the end. If if you're not sold in it and you want more details of maybe it has pros and cons, what is it like to wear, you know, does it have any issues, is there a problem with it, or is this really good, what kind of goodness does it have, and all that such, right, all that details, you can find in the proper monthly costume review videos of the costume. If you're just someone who just wants to look at um, the costume on someone and just get out get out of the video these quickie videos are for you but if you want the details this is the video you should stay on and also you know any other costume reviews you may want to click on the detailed version instead which should just have the regular um title name and you know the quickie would have the quickie in the title but anyways we are finally going to start the review yes let's let's get right into it now now the first one, is this upside down? Oof, it is upside down, whatever, fine, we'll have it upside down because the first feature I'm going to talk about for the first ever review, because it's going to be long I'm going to call the Velociraptor just Dino so every time I refer Dino, I mean this, right? until we get to the score screen which I'll then be saying the proper name and just saying Dino as like the appeal like, you know, it is a dinosaur, you know? but yeah, until the review screen um, I'll be calling this a dino, right? And a velociraptor, just a raptor, right? I'm not, I'm not lazy. Shut up. <laughs> For the first detail I'm going to say of this dino is that, hey, it's got this netting in it, in this, you know, in the plastic window of its mouth, basically. What we're seeing here is like, like the wide mouth, right? It isn't that wide, but, you know, it's semi-wide. It's got this netting on it, which you know, I think is a pretty good feature because it hides the wearer inside. And so, you know, onlookers don't get to fully see, you know, someone inside of it that well. It kind of hides, it kind of hides you inside. So, you know, I think this is a pretty nice feature. It's like, yeah, for the next feature, I'm not going to talk about this too long because uh, let's just say I've already recorded this episode 
three times and all three times of the recordings for some reason I've rambled on this feature because I really like this feature so I for my fourth ever try I know that you know what I need to stop rambling on about this feature <laughs> but but yeah it's a really good feature and when you wear it you would really see why right so I'm only going to do a t small talk of it <laughs> so I won't be rambling but I know that in my old recordings I have rambled about this feature because I really love it right it is the best feature so this is the so this is the foot cover this is the foot you know got three toes you know it's not it's not amazing <laughs> it's not amazing yet your foot goes through here why is it like this where the foot covers all the way here and this is like um excessive material outwards it is because this material actually inflates and it inflates round your foot in this you know this holy area this holy area this whole holy area wow but yes it inflates around your foot so it's not like a little sheet cover like most inflatable costumes seem to have which is rubbish and i always dislike them but yeah this inflates around your foot securing your foot it's great <laughs> and i mean it is great it also gives more you know detail to the actual costume and all i'm gonna say is more costume designers and makers should you know get this designed in their future costumes and i still don't know why they haven't done that yet trust me it is like <laughs> but yes anyway that's that feature i can't talk about it anymore we've got to move on to the next the next feature of the dino is a feature which i didn't know oh yeah i forgot to mention that some most of the features in this costume is also in the raptor one so yes this feature i'm about to say is in the uh, in in the raptor for sure what you are witnessing or what i'm about to say round here of the hand of the hand there's this velcro and yes you can open it up and let me put it down for a second you can say this is your this is the costume you can open it up up to like you know just the sideways it's only it's only there to there so it's not like all around the uh, costume hand so you're not fully taking it off you're only like doing like a partial take off right off the hand from the costume but yeah you can do that and have your arm come out and be able to grab things much more easier and and yeah this feature is not really a good one but it's there and for someone who maybe wants to not use the costume hands i suppose that's a good feature for you but i like to keep it shut because i don't like costumes like that especially um i like to have it more attached to the actual costume because it gives a bit more design and if you have worked with velcro then yes um after some time you know the velcro is not going to be sticky enough and plus the fact if you put it on wrong if you put the velcro on wrong you know then you know it's just gonna have air holes and uh, the air is gonna leak out and it's not gonna be as airtight as it is i forgot to talk about the straps of this costume and basically the little piece of paper that, it, that i got with it so here is the images of it at least and you can pause the video to read to read how to use these straps if you like But yeah, that is all the features of the dino. Now I'm going to get the raptor out. Anyways, I put it like this because these two orange circles, if you have never seen an inflatable costume, are the costume inflatable, the costume fans to make it inflate, basically. And yes, the orange is normally the the default colour. Um, some Some costumes actually have different colours. But um, this one came with two orange ones. This costume is a bit pricey to run uh, because now you need two battery packs. That means you don't need four two A's, but now you need eight two A's to run this costume. Now we're going to go to me wearing the costumes, right? First, I will be wearing the Raptor first because one, I've already worn it, and plus a fact, the Dino, um, as I've already mentioned near the start of the intro, I've only worn it once and it's been waiting for me to wear it for about, again, for like about seven months now. So I've actually 
waited for this video. So here it is. Here is the uh, costume, nicely inflated in just a few seconds uh, because you know of the uh, two fans. Um, but yeah, here it is. Um, yeah. Right. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know why I'm doing that. But yeah, there you go. This is this is the uh inflatable raptor, as you can see. Mm -hmm. And uh, yeah, hope you enjoy it. And get that, get that, get that. I got, get my clues. I got my clues. And uh, yeah, it's you know, like I said, it's it's very very big, as you can tell. Very very big. <laughs> so. Here is what it looks like inside. Like I said, the window is a bit small. Um, in this one, uh, there is no window at the top of the mouth. There is uh, the teeth and the uh, eye, and uh, the eyes are up there. It's a bit dark in here. But yeah, there, there are the eyes. As you can see, there's the teeth in this. And uh, yeah, like I said, there is no, there's no window down here. <laughs> Like some dino, some dinosaur costumes have, especially the T-Rex. I think yeah, the T-Rex has a little window up here as well. Not like you normally see that. Does have a bit of a uh, costume crotch bit going on over there, and um, it does does a little bit make walking a bit hard. It's like that's the most I can do without with feeling a bit of pressure down there. The fan, the fans behind, the fans behind going. But yeah, but yeah, there's there's my hand here, <laughs> and uh, yeah, it's like I said, the visibility is all right, um, comfortability mostly all right, just near the crotch a little bit hard to run and walk in, but you know it's pretty good. <laughs> Like I said, it's got, you know, a couple of feet, so... <laughs> so, there we go, that is this costume in full. I've uh, showed you everything and I hope you enjoyed this look. We're now going to go to the uh, other inflatable costume over there. <laughs> and uh, yeah, I <laughs> um, hope you enjoyed. Uh, I'm now going to go put that one on now. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Ta da! It is finished. And um, here we are. Here is the Pterodactyl. The pterodon dinosaur costume with the, uh, with the wings. This is now my second time ever wearing it, and I've just and uh, refreshing my memory. It's like, oh yeah, this has good visibility. I can see up to there. So yeah, that's a big, big little range. Uh, you know, I can see up to at least down there, of course, because of the uh, big mouth. But yeah, here it is. You know, I can fly like a bird. <laughs> Come here. Kaka, kaka. <laughs> I'm going to eat you. <laughs> but yeah. 
There you go, it, like I said, it's mostly similar, it's got all the, uh, it's, all the it's all got the exact same design and everything, and uh, yeah, I hope you enjoy. Um, as you can see, this is my view. Uh, this, yeah, you know, from my eyes, this is exactly what I'm seeing. But even though this is like this, I can actually see a, see through it a bit more better. But the camera, of course, is picking up the very, very HD quality and isn't really picking up how clear it looks out there. But trust me, it looks, oh, there you go. Just if I turned off the flashlight, you can at least see. So, so you know, you can. You can see where you're going still, and like I said, it is big, it's like, ooh, that's very big vision. And like I said, the only thing is down there, it's like, it's like down there, that's when it's like, oh, I can't really see, so you can't really, so yeah, you can't really like see people down, down there. Yes, it's, this still has the kind of weird crotch problem again, but it's it's not as tight so you know you can you can at least move a lot more in this one and yes it does have the straps which i was wearing i forgot that these one this one is a bit more tighter um <laughs> but yeah but yeah the eye the eyes all the way over there uh you know it's like a it's a pretty big pretty big costume just like the inflatable raptor except for instead of the size of the body it's more of the size of the head <laughs> that is the biggest part of the costume which is mostly good and well this one of course doesn't have a tail because this one didn't you can probably do like a uh, like a mouth movement like ah! <laughs> you can kind of do like a mouth movement with your hands so you can uh, go <laughs> but um, there you go. <laughs> now that we have shown you what it looks like in full, um, both costumes now. Um, now it as now of course it's that time. So let's go back to the table <laughs> design thing. Whatever. It's it's a uh, it's a kind of hmm. yeah. It's kind of like a table design. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Now it's time to go to the review score screen. So yeah, here is my review score and all the pros and cons to owning this costume that, you know, you may want to, you probably do want to take account for when you're going to buy your own. If you're going to buy your own, I should say. Right, for Pterodon, I actually give this a 9 out of 10. And the pros to this costume are, movability is pretty good because the leg area is a lot more or less restrictive so you can spread out your legs a lot more making it so running this costume is easier and jumping around isn't that bad either it also has the great foot cover design and the print is pretty well designed as well looks pretty dino to me at least visibility is really good because of the panel being a big mouthpiece so you really can see around you well the netting on the window panel gives outsiders more of that dino immersion appeal. That there isn't a person in there, making onlookers have more belief that this is a real dino that they are witnessing, because of the netting is hiding the wearer inside. This is a small design, but yeah, it has a big impact on the wearer and onlookers, as well, many inflatable costumes do not have anything like this at all, as this design is mostly, you know, used on non-inflatable costumes, and it really helps the appeal of a costume. You know what else helps this costume? Well, this costume has great air containment, keeping that suit nicely inflated, even with high movement going on, so you can just 
you know, jump around, whatever. It will mostly still be nicely inflated and won't be all floppy and, you know, a little bit deflated. It actually works pretty well. Now the cons of this costume. Visibility is good, like I said, but has one big blind spot. You can't look under wherever the bottom jaw of a pterodon is. Under that jaw, you're never going to see. So you can't even see the pterodon belly, as well as let alone the dino's feet, if you, you know, pull your feet up and you, you, you're just not gonna really see it well. So for wearers, small kids going right up to you might have to be up on their list of caution to look out for. Cause you know, you're, you're not gonna be able to see them. So maybe a handler might be needed. So beware if you go out in public in this. And the big mouth design has its flaws, like I've already gone over with its blind spot. And I could already see this doesn't look good. Um, if you're like looking up to someone like straight ahead, it doesn't look good. Because this costume looks good from the side, the back, um, but, but from the front itself, the big mouth ruins it. As you saw, I knew that to make this costume look good, I kept making the head look at a sideways angle in the recording, but still a bit front towards the camera to give it its nice look when I wanted to look right at the camera. So yeah, there's a little camera trick which I know that, oh, I'm, I'm gonna do this just to make the costume a bit more appealing to the eye. And trust me, it does, but like I said, straight ahead, Nah, terrible view, terrible of the costume, it doesn't look good. And this costume, it takes pretty long to get in and out by yourself. The zip handle isn't that big to grab on. This causes it to be slow to get in and have fun and get out and relax or whatever. Packing this one away can ruin your fun next time you want to wear this costume, because then you got to get in the costume and pad out the window panel again to get it as smooth and nice looking as you can again. Cause the plastic window they use is similar to the type of packing bag material you normally get from most of the costume bags, you know, the bags that you normally get with the costume itself. And so folding it will keep its folded shape. And so you would have to keep reshaping it every time you take it out of wherever you stored it. Now the Velociraptor. I give this a 10 out of 10 with epic fluffy approval. Yeah. The epic fluffy approval just means I highly, highly recommend you buy this. It's definitely a must buy if you ever want to get, a, get yourself a costume. It is a great costume, trust me. So, the pros. This costume is the one of the best Raptor inflatable costumes out there by looks alone because I have looked at other inflatable Raptor costumes and trust me they all fall flat. It's like yeah, uh, it's, not, it's not really good at all. But trust me, this design is great and it is probably the best Raptor dinosaur you can get. If you're looking for a T-Rex then you probably go for a lift for a specific T-Rex design costume. But trust me, for Raptors, this one is the best you should buy. And um, yes, it also has the great foot cover design and its Velociraptor print on it is pretty well made. Um, it is also easy to get in and out of because it has a thicker zip handle even with using the costume hands, it's pretty easy. So, you know, the, the Pterodon didn't use a thicker zip for some reason, but this one did. So it is a lot more easy to get in and out. Um, this costume also inflates pretty fast. Even if you use one fan, it still inflates speedily and has pretty good air containment to keep the suit nicely inflated as well. Um, again, with high end movement, it, just like the Pterodon, it is good. Now the cons. Movability isn't great, but isn't fully bad either. You can at least slightly run in it, and well, jumping doesn't feel good because of the two fans on the back of the costume, making it feel heavy when you're landing. So, I would not recommend jumping high in this costume. Little jumps are alright to handle though, but yeah, big jumps, you're, you're not, not, you're not going to have a good experience. <laughs> the arms of this 
Velociraptor costume are a little bit too long. I sometimes struggle a little bit to grab the costume hands, to move the fingers and, well, you know, to be able to grab things while I'm in the costume. It is fine when all the air is out, but when inflated I seem to struggle to reach to grab on the fingers of a costume well. But this con could just be more of a me problem. <laughs> and might be fine for more people because bruh I am a bit small sized so really really don't take this con to full heart unless you know that you're small for your age a bit like me ish you know you know I'm not I'm not really tall right okay the hedge traps though to this costume have a bad placement if you use them it pushes your face right up to the window panel what well, yeah you can see out the window better but longer you breathe on that panel the more it will fog up just hindering your view making it really not seeable plus it makes it uncomfortable to wear with your face really up to the plastic window so yeah i recommend you not use the head straps for this at all because it just it works fine without them you know with the terror the pterodon it makes a bit of a difference but the raptor uh, no it just it just you know it doesn't really it doesn't really change much and um it's pointless and you should not wear them you should not use them with the two fans this costume has, yes, this does mean it's a bit more pricey to run this costume. You know, if you're going to use both fans, of course, you're not going to be needing four 2AAs. You're now going to have to have eight 2AAs for the two battery packs. This, to me, isn't much of a con, because I know a store nearest to me that sells batteries pretty cheap. But I know for others, this might not be the case. So, you know, for some people, this... Like I said, could be pricey for you to run. Now the last con of this costume is basically even with two fans running at like 100% battery power, making the fans spin at full RPM, the tail tip always has issues to inflate. Well, at least the rest of the tail inflates pretty good, but I've seen others and even mine. From time to time, the tail tip not fully inflated at all. But with it only doing the tip of the tail, um, it doesn't it doesn't really ruin the look of the costume hugely at all. But yeah, now and then the tip works and inflates, but just sometimes it doesn't. <laughs> now you have seen the reviews of the Velociraptor and the Pterodon costume. It is one of the best dinosaur costumes I own. I'm only saying that because I would say, oh, this is one of the best dino costumes dinosaur costumes I've seen ever but um, let's just say let's just say um, I've actually seen two dinosaur costumes um, on, um, on Amazon now that have released this year which may take the cake but I haven't bought them yet so I cannot say but um, right now I know that this is the best dinosaur ever to buy you should really get this one it is great sure it has small downsides to it but yeah it's pretty good and um, yes, like I said, I recommend you more buy this one than this one. But, you know, I guess if you really, really like it, buy this one instead of this. Whatever, whatever, your, whatever takes your cake, innit? But yeah, that is it. I've gone through the details, I've gone through the review. And, um, and uh, that's it. Hope you enjoyed this video. If you have enjoyed, make sure to press that like. And if you want to more support me, hey... Why don't you subscribe to me? <laughs> and by subscribing, you probably want to hit that bell if you want not want to miss any of my monthly costume reviews or maybe other series which I'm doing which you may like. But you know, go check them out. You may you may actually like it. And hey, you may want to go follow me on my Twitch as well because I have set up a command which after gaining or earning chop coin chop coins is um which is the currency on my twitch channel um you can redeem to make me wear a costume on stream for the rest of the stream but yeah my name is fluffy chops thank you all for watching hope to see you in whatever video that may be and goodbye